8 11 now for you on this Saturday morning. Beautiful blue skies, but you can see those clouds off in the distance beginning to build. Warm temperatures, 67 degrees already, will change. As temperatures cool down just a little bit, possibly this evening with some storms coming our way. Richard Ortner is going to join us in just a little bit and let us know exactly what our chances of seeing some severe weather this evening. Hopefully not as bad as it was yesterday. But, you know, first with the sun shining at least now and in the mornings that we've got right now, you may be planning a day outside. But the question, of course, is what's the best way to get that daily dose of vitamin D that you can get from the sun? Dr. Sean Allen now from the Dermatology Specialist of Boulder joins us this morning to give us a, a good insight. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, vitamin D. Tell us what the sources are and, and why, in fact, we need it. So vitamin D, what we found is some exciting studies have come out and shown that vitamin D is really helpful for the, for the body. It can even protect, we think it can even protect against diseases like multiple sclerosis, heart disease, autoimmune diseases, even some forms of cancer. So that's what sort of started the exciting stir about vitamin D. Um, it is a vitamin that you can get through the skin and you can also get it through your diet and so that's sort of the controversy that has arisen is where to get this important dose of vitamin D. A lot of people think well I'll just lay out get a little bit of sunshine and get that vitamin D but you're saying use the sunscreen. Yeah so um, I don't know if we have a schematic here but there was a two ways that we can get our vitamin D so the sun and our body is fantastic at actually c converting the sun into vitamin D. It does it very efficiently, so efficiently that just 10 to 20 minutes of exposure over a week's time period can make thousands and thousands of units of vitamin D. So when you're walking from your car, um, just that exposure in and of itself over a week, you can get excellent exposure. So as you can see here, vitamin D3 it comes either through the diet or it comes through the sun. It has to go to the liver and then it has to go to the kidney in order to become the useful version. So it doesn't really matter where you get it, it has to get into your body and then it has to be converted. So what we recommend and the American Academy of Dermatology recommends is actually getting it through diet and not through sun because we know ultraviolet radiation causes cancer. And there are many ways to get it through your diet, but there are also supplements that you can take as well. And sure. that's what you have here. Right, so fishes that are, you know, so the oilier fishes, the salmon, the mackerel, the tuna, those have high levels of fish oils and actually um, can, can provide good vitamin D doses. But some of, these, um, some of these vitamins that you see here, like the whole vitamins, they have 400 international units. The Centrum, and even the Centrum Silver has 800 international units, which is twice what's being recommended right now for your daily intake. So, so getting it through diet, either the vitamin D fortified milk or these vitamins is, is an excellent source. So even your basic vitamins, such as Centrum, which is I, I think of a basic um, multivitamin, you can get enough vitamin D through that. Absolutely. So you know, it's 400 international units. That's what's being recommended now. They may change that in the year 2010 and go up a little bit. Um, but just that combined with um, other dietary intakes, like I said, the fishes, the milks, you're going to get an excellent exposure. Now, while we're on the subject of skin cancer, how to prevent it and things like that, what, what about this surgery called MOHS? Is it Mohs? Is that the That's correct right. So this surgery is called Mohs Micrographic Surgery. It has the highest cure rate of any treatment available for any kind of cancer. It's a 99% cure rate. And it has to do with the way that we d process it. And, and I've gone through a fellowship and trained in this to be an expert in this field. And we offer excellent rates of cancer. A good example is uh, which ties into the vitamin D is I had a world-class long-distance athlete in my office uh, last week and she had skin cancer from the chronic sun exposure in, on her eyelid and we did the most surgery and cured her with the 99% cure rate but she went and actually had her vitamin D levels checked and they were actually on the very high end of normal so she had high levels of vitamin D yet she's still causing cancer so we know when it comes to causing cancer or to the vitamin D debate ultraviolet radiation is going to win out on the protective nature of vitamin D. And one last thing, I don't know whether you mentioned this or not, a tanning bed, can that give you vitamin D? Or so not? that's a great, great, great topic there because the tanning bed industry jumped on this and said, oh, vitamin D, it's great. Well, the tanning beds are ultraviolet A light. They are not ultraviolet B light. And ultraviolet B is the only type of light that causes vitamin D. 
So they don't help at all in okay. obtaining vitamin D. Good to know. Take your vitamins, everyone. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank you it. Again. For more information, just log on to the denverchannel.com and click on the big red TV button. If you have any questions for Dr. Allen, email them to us at the weekend morning at the denverchannel.com and we will make sure 